Good evening, everybody. Chuck Pre Sports Cards coming back at you. Uh, quick uh, mail day slash sale pickup. Um, got a box in from Kevin. Um, I know my my um, cards that I picked up at his last sale was in there, and then he said he threw in um, something extra that um, I'm kind of interested to see what's in here. So um, let's get uh, let's rip this sucker open. See what we got in here. Um, this time I put up. I put up some of the cards that I've gotten some uh, some of the guys from in the you know, in the um, in the channels. Kevin, Donald, everybody knows Donald. Papa J, my favorite card from Ethan with my Javier Baez, and then Derek and Asher. Very cool. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. I'm definitely interested to see what Kevin did because. Um, I don't know, just from his text messages, it kind of makes me wonder. I don't know if I should be scared or what. Let's go ahead and open this up. Ah, oh, very cool. I'm gonna have to, I'll make sure to give this to her, man. Thanks a lot, Kevin. A card he'd signed straight to Wilma. That's awesome. Very, very cool, man. She's gonna love that. That's her. That's gonna be her first baseball card too. You know what? Matter of fact, we're gonna put that on in front of the other one because that's just that's just very cool. So let's let's uh, open up the sale. Uh, what I got in his sale first, and then we'll go through these other ones. This is finally one time I actually remember what I bought from somebody. <laughs> that, that doesn't happen very often. Clayton Kershaw, big part of my Christian ball player collection. It's starting to get kind of huge. I think I'm around 150 or 200 different cards of him. And this one I hemmed and hawed quite a while about. I loved Dave Parker growing up. And it, you know, relic card to Dave Parker. I don't have anything of Dave Parker, so why not? And then we got a Cody Bellinger, relic card. He's just a great player. I mean, you can't go wrong with him, whether you like him or not. I mean, you can't go wrong with a relic card of Cody. And Allen and Ginter, Evan Longoria. This one I bought because, I honest to God, I can't remember if I have a relic card of Evan Longoria. I have a huge relic collection. Um, one of these times I'll I'll do a video just show you and show you the box of uh, of relics that I have. So I bought it. I mean, I can't remember what he sold it for, but it was cheap. So I was like, why not? And then Mike Yastrzemski, um, I loved Carl Yastrzemski. So, I mean, come on with a name like Yastrzemski, he's gotta be pretty good, right? Put those off to the side. All right, and it looks like, all right, open packs in order, one through seven. Very, very interesting. All right, so let's see. There's a note in there. We'll leave that for now. Package number one. Let's check this out. Hey, hey, we got a repack. You got to love that stuff. I love this stuff. Or are these real? Ah, is this a repack of real? No, nope, these are real. All right, let's check her out. Let's see what we get. Uh-oh, I'm destroying that package, let me tell you. We got 1988 Donruss. Gino Petrali, Mark Clear, Wally Backman. I used to like him growing up. He, he was he was good. Not you know, not great, but he was good. Dan Playsack, good pitcher. I used to love watching him too. Dan Sabra, Jeff Deadman, Jesse Orozco. He was a scrapper. He was a real good pitcher too. Liked him a lot. There we go. White Sox, Jose De Leon. We'll actually put that off to the side. We'll see how many White Sox we can pull out of this. Jim Morrison, Juan Samuel, Julio Franco. I used to love watching that guy hit. He had one of the coolest batting stances. Dave Hengel, another White Sox. Bob James, Dave Bergman, and Ryan Sandberg, Chicago Cubs. Shout out Jay Thompson and his wife, Judy. That's probably coming your guys' way someday. Put those over here. Let's see, what do we got here? We got 1991 score. 
<laughs> I just saw what the other package is or the other cards are. That's um that's funny there, Kevin. I don't know about that one though. All right, <laughs> Chris Chris Basio. <laughs> oh my word! I'm just gonna have to send you a whole bunch of uh, mancadas or something. I don't know. Willie Blair, <laughs> Francisco Cabrera, and Dana Keeker, Fred McGriff. Hey, there you go. Shout out, Kevin. Benito Santiago. Probably coming back to you. Along with what's in that next pack. Al Newman. Steve Fry. Dwight Evans. Great player. Barry Bonds. Bobby Bonilla. Addie Murray. That's a pretty good run there. Let's see what we got here. World Series 1944. St. Louis Browns. And they beat the Tigers. Very, very cool. Greg Hibbard, White Sox. Bill Swift. Matt Young. And Mark Davis. Got to be honest, these older cards, I'm kind of hoping to get Kevin's guy. Bob Walk. All right, so Kevin threw in a pack of Justin Bieber cards. Kevin, that question I asked you a couple days ago... I might have to take it back after this one. I just, I don't know. Man. I, I'm, I, I thought we were friends. That's all I'm saying. All right, there you go. Let's just fly through it. Yeah, there's um, there's Beaver. We'll, um, we'll just put those over here. <laughs> oh, Kevin, you got it coming back, man. Uh, here's package number two. <laughs> oh, my word. All righty, let's see what we got here. Get this out of the way. All right. Uh, it looks like we got a stack of some, uh, stack of a few different cards. Let's see. Danny Pasqua. Oh, I loved watching this dude when he was with the Sox. That guy got hit a ton. Oral Hershiser, the guy that actually got me started collecting um, Christian ball players many, many, many years ago. Very, very cool. I don't have very many of him, so that's awesome. What we got here? Mike Sweeney from the Kansas City Royals. Willie O. Cruz, Chicago White Sox. One of my favorite jerseys. Lance Johnson, one dog. Rocking the throwbacks. Robin Ventura. Eric King. Here we go. My favorite White Sox player ever. Harold Baines, you're almost forgiven for the Beavers with the Harold Baines. I said almost. Don Paul, John Cangelosi. I tell you what, man, this package is bringing back some memories of when I was younger. Don Paul, Steve Lyons, uh, my friend Dave Javecki, very, very cool. Thank you. Can't go wrong with the Javecki card, man. Daryl Boston. Adam Dunn, a beautiful Leaf Limited Jason Bure, Dave Gallagher, Melito Perez, Don Paul, The Pope. We got a Bowman Chrome of Philip Pfeiffer, Team USA. Very cool. We'll put that. Boy, is that thing bowed, but that'll straighten out any top loader. And Ron Kittle. I loved watching that guy play too. Man, he could hit a ton. Watched a game where he hit a home run on top, over the roof of Comiskey Park, one-handed. Absolutely crazy. All right, package number three. Another little team bag here. Let's see who we got in this one. All righty, we got Eric King. Jeff Torborg. I actually liked him a lot as a manager. Pudge. One of the greatest White Sox to ever play. And Red Sox. Wilson Alvarez. Very cool. Uh, I miss that scoreboard. Every time the White Sox would hit a home run at home, that thing would blow off fireworks like crazy. That, that is so cool. I didn't even know this card existed. I love it. I think that one's actually going to go on a top loader. And it's, prob and it's probably worth 10 cents. But I don't care. I love it. Darren Jackson, 
I think he still announces for us, but I'm not sure. Another Carlton Fisk, Pudge. Dylan Cease, fast becoming one of my favorite pitchers for the White Sox. Jerry Royce, loved watching this guy grow up when I was a kid. Scott Fletcher, another Dave Drabecki, that's awesome, love it. Zach Putnam. Bobby Thigpen, one of the greatest relievers in baseball. James Baldwin. Carlos Rodon. Sean Hillegas. Bill Long. What's this one? Oh, okay, just one of the... A sticker back, but oh, Chicago White Sox, very cool. We got the Toronto Blue Jays on the other side. Got us another Harold Baines, very cool. You're getting closer to getting getting forgiven for the Biebers. De Leon, Ozzy Gian, Bobby Thickpen, and another Ozzy Gian. Very, very cool. White Sox collection is definitely growing. We're down to package number four now. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, look what's on the back. I think we just might have to forgive them. That's three of them now. I don't know. I'll think about it, though. I might have to ask Wilma if I should forgive him. But then again, she'll say yes. She got she got, she got got her first baseball autograph. So she's going to love that. I'll have to call her later after she wakes up. Because right now she's back home in the Philippines. Jack Flirty, Member of the Christian Ballplayers team. Oral Hershiser. Jim Abbott. I wish we had him more, you know, for more of his career on the Sox. He's a really good pitcher. Tony Walters, Bowman Chrome, Team USA. Andrew McCutcheon, Independence Day, very, very cool. Anthony Rizzo, Independence Day, love the sleeve, by the way. And sorry, Jay and Judy, that Rizzo stain in my collection. Ben McDonald. Very cool. Sean Jeter. Cole Reagans with the flag in the back. Very, very cool. A Clayton Kershaw Tops. What's this one from? 2017. I do not have very many from 2017. I have in my collection. I got them all in your order, and I'm surprised. I hardly have anything from 17. So very cool. That's going to be a nice addition. A Hol Tops Holiday, Clayton Kershaw. Oh, that looks like it's actually the uh, the metallic one. Very cool. And that is from 2018. Very cool. And a Harold Baines Diamond Kings. Very, very cool. So if there's no more Bieber cards in here, we will forgive the Bieber cards. <laughs> Package number five. Uh, I ain't kidding, man. You still have me rolling on that. Ooh, what do we got here? We got a couple... Top loaded cards. We got the Big Hurt and Acetate. Very cool. And it looks like. Oh no, it's not an Acetate. It's a die. Well, no, it is Acetate. Yeah, you can see behind it. And it's a die cut. Uh, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt. Very cool. I definitely do not have that card. And what do we got here? We got ooh, numbered one twenty four of two fifty. Uh, Frank Thomas, another one. I guarantee I do not have this card. Very, very cool. All right. On to number six. Or is it nine? No, it's only six. It says one through seven. And then here we got Jim Tome, a relic card with a pinstripe. Very, very cool. Um, what do you finish? I think 600 and some odd home runs, if I remember right. Never was in trouble. That's awesome. Um, definitely, obviously, worthy of the Hall of Fame. But very, very cool. Again, guarantee I don't have this one. I have a couple couple relic cards of Tommy, but I know I don't have that one. Oh, and look at this sweet one. Okay, this is just awesome. 63 and 99 dual relic jersey card of Carlton Fisk. That is so very cool. From Tribute in 2019. Absolutely good. Man, that's going to look phenomenal in my in my Relic collection. That is just way, way too cool. That is so awesome. You are forgiven for the Bieber. 
Package number seven. This is already insane. I, I, I don't even know what else to expect now. This is just nuts. Oh, wow. Okay, this one, I guarantee without a shadow of doubt, I do not have. This one is going to be going in a one touch. This, I don't even know what to say about this one, man. I mean, wow. It, Harold Baines autograph um, with stamp of the American flag from July 4th of 1959. I mean, that numbered 39 of 100. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm totally 100% speechless, man. This is just, wow. Um, uh, like, I don't even know, man. Um, wow. I, I may need to pause and come back to this in a second, man. This is, um, wow. That is probably my f not you know what not even probably guaranteed that is my favorite Harold Baines autograph card I have and I have I, I think about I might have ten of them now with this one this is just insane man I I don't even know what to say uh, I'm just rambling right now that that one's just floored me um, sorry Ethan but you're getting covered that is I don't I don't even know what to say. And we have something else in this box. What do we got here? We got some baseball scissors, Fiskers. <laughs> Interesting. Very, very cool. I will definitely use those. Um, I, I, I ain't even kidding. I don't even know what to say about that Harold Baines. That's just, that's unreal. And then there's a note in here. I'm not going to read the note on the camera. That, um... I'll read that afterward. I, yeah, you're totally forgiven for the beaver, man. I, I don't even know what to say, man. I just, I can't wait to see, <laughs> I can't wait to see what, um, what you see, uh, think of what I just sent you to though. Um, you're probably gonna, probably gonna feel about the same as I do right now, man. Cause I, I don't even know what to say. You've completely blown me away. I, like I said, I'm rambling right now. I just, I'm in awe. Uh, I'm not worthy of that card. Uh, it's my favorite Harold Baines. Um, I'm, I'm not even gonna say possibly or any. It, it's, it's my favorite. That one, like I said, we'll be getting one touched. I'll be going, I'll be going to the uh, LCS tomorrow after work, and I'm gonna find the best looking one touch that I can find for that card. That is just simply amazing, man, Kevin. Um, you're the man. I, I don't even know what else to say. That Harold Baines, the Carlton Fisk duel, all these other ones, the Oral Hershizers, all these White Sox. I just you you blow me away, man. Um, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't for meeting Wilma, this would be the best Christmas present I think I've had in about ten or eleven years, if not longer. Um, but I'm sorry, she definitely beats you on that one. Um, but man, uh, don't tell her. But man, this is a very close second place, man. You you are just the man. I um, I love all you guys in the community. You guys are all great. Donald, Derek, Ethan, Papa Jay. You guys just you wow me. I I don't. Like I said, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just a, I'm a rambling mess right now. So I'm just going to end this one right now. So I stop sounding stupid because <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to sit here and stare at that card for a while. Cause it's just, I don't know. I, I just, wow. That's, that's literally all I can say is wow. Um, so I'm just going to end this one right now and probably sit back on my couch and probably even shed a tear or something. Cause I don't know, man. I, wow. Um, so I, I will see you guys around the channels. Um, have a blessed day. Um, Merry Christmas. And you know what? I'm going to say one other thing. Um, David Heath once told me once, if you ever think about it, just do it. Don't, he goes, if, it, if the thought crosses your mind, just do it. Don't think about it. Pay it forward, man. 
and um, I have been paid back 10 times over something that I did for one of the guys in the community here. And um, I sent him a card that um, he had he had an attachment to. And it, it's, it's a very old card. I mean, it wasn't in the greatest shape, but it meant something to him. And it blew him away. It was, it, it's, it, and it was quite valuable, but you know, it wasn't doing nothing for me. I mean, it's a card, you know, like Kevin always says, man, these things, they're, they're just cardboard with pictures on them. They're not life. You know, they're meant for entertainment and for fun. And, you know, so I, you know, I sent this guy, you know, a card and, um, a couple of the packages that I've gotten from some of you guys have just. I think I know how he felt when he opened that um, Ted Williams card. And um, I, like I said, pay it forward. It will come back to you. I mean, yeah, that Ted Williams, you know, if you want to go monetary, that Ted Williams is worth way more than that Harold Baines. But to me, that Harold Baines is one of my favorite cards in my collection now. I mean, that Harold Baines is going to stick with me for a very, very long time. Um, it's not going anywhere. Um, I'll sell all the rest of my set, you know, my cards before I have to get rid of that one. So again, man, if, if you're talking to somebody in one of the, you know, in one of the rooms or, you know, if it just, you know, if, if all of a sudden in the back of your mind, something, something tells you, man, I should send this person something, do it. Don't think about it. Listen to what David Heath said and just do it. God will reward you. And he rewarded me tonight with something that has absolutely blown my mind and has left me a rambling mess. So, um, uh, you know, so literally that's all I just want to say is pay it forward because that's what makes card collecting worth it. I'll see you guys around.